All right, guys. So it's clear as day um, after the Bama Auburn game that um, the honeymoon phase for us was was going to be over, right? You know that 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 game was amazing to watch. Um, it gave it damn near gave me a heart attack, and at the same time, it made me really just appreciate just the season overall. Um, Eleven and one, a football team that clearly is not as we're not as good as we were last year. I'm not going to sit up here and say that this that this is a young football team. Um, but I will say that this is a football team that can rebuild. I think that this is a football team that can get better next season. Um, but this particular year, we have just had way too much inconsistencies. We don't know which Bama team would show up for us. Um, we've had trouble in literally the last, I would say really the last four games, we've really, no, the last three games, we've had trouble. And I don't know if we can honestly, you know, I don't, you know, I, I don't know if we can make it a dogfight against Georgia because I think that's the only way. You have to make this game ugly for Georgia. You have to be in a dogfight against Georgia. You have to force them into a dogfight. Ironic that I just said, yeah, you got to force this team into a dogfight. But that's that's the way it is. You have to make this game ugly. Um, and defensively, here's the thing about this game is that for our defense, this is a very good matchup for Bama because for the most part, you know what Georgia's all about. You know what Georgia can offer to the table. You know what type of offense they have with Todd Munkin. Now, they have a lot more creativity. They have way better playmakers than Auburn. They have a tight end that you can make an argument. It's the best tight end in the country. They have a running game, which is extremely physical. They have an offensive line, which is extremely physical. But again, if you're this defense, you can carry that momentum from Auburn that you did this week, right? You were very, very strong against their front. You barely got pushed off the ball. Your linebackers finally were able to collapse in holes. Your secondary was able to play with a lot of confidence and you didn't really see a lot of miscommunication compared to what you saw in previous weeks. So it's something that if you're a Bama fan, you can take into that going into next week. Now, of course, Georgia is a lot more creative than Auburn is, right? For the most part, I mean, Auburn ran out of plays because their quarterback got hurt and couldn't really be effective throwing the football, right? Uh, Stenson Bennett is a more, he's a more mobile quarterback. He's more mobile. He's a guy that's very efficient. He can take care of the football. He has good. He has really good deep ball accuracy. And again, the fact that they just have better five star, they have better players on the outside, five and four star players than Auburn. I think we definitely have to take that into consideration as well. Um, but you know, if you're Bama, you have to make this into a scrap. You have to force Georgia into a very uncomfortable situation, which Auburn forced us into. Right? Auburn was a six and five football team, but Auburn forced us into a very uncomfortable situation. And we somehow, and we prevail. LSU did the same thing. Arkansas did the same thing. And Bama Sam somehow in some way over, overcame that. So if you're a Bama fan, you got to be happy that your defense was able to win you a, a big game, right? And the fact that, again, you can overcome these situations. You can overcome adversity. We have not seen Georgia overcome that adversity all year round. Georgia has been extremely dominant. Rightfully so, because their defense has been absolutely just stellar. They've been, it's full of killers on that defense. But you have to force this team in a very uncomfortable situation. You have to force this team um, to be under pressure in order for you, um, you know, in order for you to, to kind of test out what type of team they really are. Right? So, the biggest concern going into this game that definitely needs to be addressed is our offensive line. And the offensive line against Auburn's defensive line was a very big concern. It was a good test going into this game because Auburn has a good front seven. They have It's a very good front seven, right? You got two players, two or three players from that defensive line that, that will be NFL draft picks. Um, they got some very good players, but at the end of the day, Georgia has the better personnel on the defense. Um, you know, Derek Mason is a pretty good defensive coordinator. But Georgia is just a step above above Auburn on their when it comes to the defensive front. Um, it is very concerning to me that we had to switch that we had to put back Chris Owens, our center, back at right tackle. It's very concerning to me that Emil Ikior once again got absolutely destroyed in the interior. It is very concerning to me that we had to put our third string center in Seth McLaughlin. I don't know what happened to Darian Delcourt, but we took him out and we, and we decided to put Seth McLaughlin in at center. It's also very concerning to me that Javon Cohen, who you can make an argument is our best guard, got out, again, did not have a good game. Really, our best offensive lineman was Evan Neal. Uh, you know, no shocker, it was Evan Neal. But at the same time, it's it's just, it's concerning to me that if we couldn't block Auburn's defensive front, how in the hell are we going to block Georgia's front? 
because they have monsters all across that defensive line with Devontae Wyatt, Jordan Davis, um, Jalen Carter, right? Um, you know, Nolan Smith, Nolan Smith for the most part. Um, they don't have Adam Anderson for obvious reasons, but even a guy like Robert Beal was able to step up into the plate. And obviously they have a better linebacking core um, than Auburn does. Um, their secondary, I think, you know, again, Roger McCurry is one of the best, if not the best cornerback right now in the SEC. But obviously, Darion Kendrick is, has been, you know, he's been phenomenal. Um, they got some very, very young studs there. And, um, you know, obviously with us losing Jamison Williams in the first half, um, you know, we got some young talent with Brooks and with John Mechie on the outside. And even though, again, he's not really a deep threat, he's more of a possession receiver. You know, this is going to be a game where Alabama has to literally let loose, right? Again, you know, we, we talk about could IG Hall play? Could Ja'Cory Brooks play a little bit more, not just on the outside, but maybe he can play a little bit more on the slot, right? Can we get some of our better talent to play in the tougher games? Um, obviously, we're going to find that out, but this is a game where you're going to have to let everything out on the table. You're going to have to make this game scrappy. You're going to have to force Georgia, you're going to have to force Georgia into a dogfight. But there is no questioning to me that Bama does have a chance. They have a chance to win. Do I think we'll win this football game from an objective standpoint? No. From a fanatics perspective, absolutely, right? I'm always going to support my team. And as a fan, I'm always going to hope that we win these games. But from an objective standpoint, um, until I see something from this offensive line, I don't think we'll do it, um, right? We have to block better. And most importantly, we have to figure out an offensive line that can form some type of, you know, some type, some type of continuity. Because mixing, because we've been experimenting over the last three weeks, but we should have been doing it way earlier in the season so we can try to have this stuff at least figured out. At least we can have some type of idea of what we can have figured out by the, by the time we get to this point. But now we're going to have to try to form something for the biggest game of our football sketch of our football season, which is going against the number one ranked team in the country in the Georgia Bulldogs. So um, we'll see what happens against Georgia. Um, again, guys, I will be live streaming Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, all the way through Friday, talking specifically about this game and some others. Um, it's going to be a one hell of a game. It's going to be one hell of a dog fight. But um, anyway, guys, Jan Sports, aka Jan 716. I'm going to let you guys enjoy your Sunday. But again, make sure to stop by the live streams because there's a lot to talk about. And uh, I, I just I can't wait until we get into this football game, guys. But anyway, I'm out. Peace.